Today I'm going to show you a little bit about Google Sheets and using the split, concatenate, and left functions to help manage lists. Uh, teachers have to deal with lists of students and this gives you a little bit more power over them. So to start with I'm going to use a list of random names and I get that from listofrandomnames.com which is a handy tool if you're a tech person doing um, videos it's great to get quick lists of names. Uh, so I'm just going to generate some names here. I'm going to copy those names and I've opened up a Google Sheet and I'm just going to paste those names into my first column. Now I've got this list of names first and last name in one column. What I'd really like is to have it in two separate columns. So I'm going to use the split function and if you click in a cell and then come up to the function bar, type the equal sign and then start typing your function name, you'll actually get a little helper that pops up that tells you the parameters needed for the function as well as a definition of what each part does. So for the split function, we start with equal split and we're going to define the string that we want to split, which is the contents of this cell. And then we're going to say, what do we want to split it by? And since there's a space between each one of those names, I'm going to split it by a space. To do that, I have to put it inside of quotes. So I'm going to do an open quote, space, close quote. And I'm going to close my parentheses. And when I hit return, it takes the contents of cell A1, it writes the contents into this cell until it sees that space and then it splits it to the next cell. And if I want to copy that down, all I have to do is select those two cells and double click on that corner. And as long as there's not an empty column in there at the beginning, uh, it'll copy it down for me. So right now, the contents of column B and C are actually displayed as part of a function. If I wanted to have it separate from the function, I would need to actually copy those contents and then paste them, but not just paste, but paste special. So if I come up here and I can get to paste special either by uh, the edit menu and go to paste special paste values only or wherever I'm at I can pick that column pick the little drop down on that column and I can say paste special paste values only and so now I actually have the text that I could then use in a mail merge or copy and paste uh, because if I just come over here and copy that it's not going to be able to find the function once I do this which is I'm going to select these first four cells here and I'm going to delete them. So now I've got my first name and my last names in two separate columns. Now let's say that you got the list this way but you actually wanted to have them together. That's when the concatenate function comes in. So I'm going to type my equals and I'm going to start typing concatenate and it pops up concatenate function lets you take strings and put them together into one column. So I'm going to click that concatenate function and let's say I want to have last name comma first name. So my last names are in column B so I'm going to click column B and then I want to have my first name. Now notice that there's no space in between because I literally picked B1 then A1. If I want a space in between there I can add that by coming in here and doing my open quote space close quote. Every item in the concatenate function has to be separated by a comma. So once I have concatenate it's going to grab the, the contents of cell B1, then it's going to put a space, and then it's going to grab the contents of A1. 
last name, first name. And if I want the comma in there, I have to put that comma inside those quotes. So now I have last name, comma, space, first name. And that is the function I use to get it. And if I want to copy it down, double click on the corner, and my whole list is done. So this can be definitely very handy if you're dealing with a large list of students. Um, you can get a very similar uh, type of setup if you need just the initial. Let's say we need first initial and last name. So we know if we want to get a last name, all we need is what's in cell B1. That would give us the last name. But what we want to go before it is the first initial. That's in column A1. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to nest some functions. We're going to put some functions together into one formula. So after the equal sign, and you only need one equal sign, is at the beginning. I'm going to type, uh, I'm going to do a left function first. So left is going to let me define what cell I'm going to use the contents of and then a comma and how many characters I want to get from that column. And I only want one, so I'm going to click one. And so now I get that first initial. Now, I want it to be followed by the last name, so I want to concatenate. I want to grab that information and I want to also include the last name. So I'm going to come back over here to my equal sign. I'm going to start with a concatenate, and I, there's my first initial, and then what I want to come next is the last name. Now if you look, there's no space, there's no period, but we can add those in simply by editing that formula, adding in my open quote, period, space, close quote, and then I have to throw in my comma because I'm separating values here. And so now I have first initial, which is the left function, followed by the period in the space, that's inside the concatenate, and then the last name. And if I want to copy that down, put my mouse on the corner, double click, and it copies down. Now remember, these two columns right now are the contents are being generated by the function. If I copied and pasted it somewhere else, that's what I'm going to get. It's looking for that information and it doesn't have it. So what I want to do is once I get it generated, if I want to copy and paste it somewhere, I need to get an actual text version of it, something that is broken from the formula. So if I copy it, and then wherever I don't have a function already, I can choose, just click in one cell, click Paste Special, Values Only, and now I actually have that information that I could copy and I could paste it somewhere and I'd actually get the text. So I hope that uh, being armed with the concatenate and the left and the split functions will help you manage your lists just a little bit better.